Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. Hey, I am out here uh, at a little spot in eastern Colorado where I have access to, uh, to hunt some deer. Um, it is October the 12th and we're uh, meeting up with Scott. We're going to be basically just getting our camera started. This is a unique little property because what we've got here is it's a lake. Surrounding that lake is some woods. Look at the growth right here. Look at this bedding area. It's amazing. Really tall grass. Um, the, the lake is quite a bit higher this year. Normally you could drive along the side of the lake to get your stuff put in. We can't do that now, so we're gonna have to figure some things out. But we're gonna start running trail cameras. There's mule deer and whitetail here. Um, we'll have does year round. We'll have whitetail book bucks and does year round. But the mule deer bucks won't come in until about the middle of November when they're rutting. And that's when the big boys show up. So um, it's kind of a fun little property. We've got some tree stands hung around here. I've done spot and stock in here. We've uh, killed them from tree stands. It's, it's really neat. Um, it's only about 45 minutes from the house too. So it gives me something to do uh, after some of my Midwest whitetail stuff in Kansas and Missouri, and then I can come back here and hunt mule deer or, or hunt more, more whitetail. So we're just gonna get this ready. I'll try and get a little video as we go of what we're doing. But jump on the four wheeler and head back out. is a tree stand right there we have a double set there what they're doing here if you can see behind me is they're actually dredging they're cleaning this lake up they're cleaning this lake up and uh, so they've kind of dammed it off and then they're digging it out and moving it and they're putting a lot of the fill over here um, so we do have human activity here they also do some waterfowl hunting on this lake um, so there's quite a bit of human activity, but the deer kind of get used to it because nobody messes with the deer. Um, and then we can come in here and, and uh, have some fun. So um, you can see this year we've gotten just, normally there's not near this vegetation, but the deer will come in here in these little bottoms. I call them bottoms, they're not really bottoms, they're just low spots, but they, they don't have water in it. And they'll bed, there's really gr uh, fresh green, vegetation to uh to feed on and and that's going to become less and less as it gets colder so so you can see there's a lot with the, with the water as high as it is it creates some pinch points these deer will come out on these peninsulas in bed but primarily they'll just work along the the tree row edge and this usually gets to be a pretty good trail so i'm going to go ahead and uh, replace the batteries and everything in this camera and get it running but we get a lot of, of pictures walking this road out and then coming right down here and then heading that way. So it's a, this is a pretty good spot for, for just picking up what's out and about, what's cruising. So this is a really good area. I've killed a couple bucks in here. Um, it goes on into the prairie and then there's across the road, there's some ag fields, but you can see how far up last year, last year, this water wasn't here. You, I mean, it wasn't even this far up. Um, and these deer bed back in here. 
we have a tree stand set up probably 50, 60 yards from where I'm standing right now and a camera and it opens up a little bit. There's a great little area for them to uh, kind of cruise in there. You can see deer tracks coming right through here. So, um, I don't know. We might not mow trails at all. We might just try and go and see if we can get, I, I think we have one more camera we need to get going, but then I'd also like to find one more spot for another tree stand. Here's another one of the stands that I hung last year. You can see a pretty decent trail right through here. Check the camera. Well, we are loaded up and heading back to the house. It is October 12th. I probably won't check them for 10 days or so. Um, and then I probably won't start hunting till, depending upon the weather. Uh, it depends upon what we see the second week of November. But uh, the rut should be in full force there. Temps should be a lot cooler and go from there. Just this, another little close to home opportunity to spend some time in the, in the woods um, and, uh, and hunt. Well, I am here at the little spot in Colorado, kind of central eastern Colorado. Um, there's the lake right over there. I'm gonna hang a tree stand here. When I pulled up, um, there was a pretty decent mule deer that was bedded right in this thicket. The whole idea with these trail cameras, I got a trail camera on that tree we, we hung the other day, and then I have another set right over in those trees. Pretty good trails coming through here. So um, I feel pretty confident I'm going to hang this tree stand. I'm going to hang a, just a regular stand right up in there. Um, like I said, I feel pretty confident about it. I think it's a good, a good set. My only concern is if that tree's too big. But um, I think there's some good deer movement in here. And uh, it's uh, we've, we've had a little bit of a of cool weather for October. And I think maybe some of the deer are feeling a little good getting in here early. So I've got all my stuff, just gonna piddle around here, try and keep as low impact as I can and uh, get this tree stand hung. Okay, well, I've got this put up. I did cut a bunch of branches. If you look over here, I even cut a little bit here so I could shoot out in here. Um, one of the things I do if I'm by myself is I immediately put up a safety rope, a uh, lifeline. So if I do fall, then I'm okay. So that's the first thing I put up there. If you'll notice, it's right up there. Um, and then I take this ladder. This ladder is, I mean, you get it at Home Depot. It just kind of folds up, fits easy in the back of your truck, but then you can unfold it and go high. And that helps a lot, putting this stuff in. So... I'm going to crawl up here in a second and I'll give you guys a view from the stand of what I can see. That mule deer was bedded back in there. I left this little piece right here just for cover if they're coming through. Give me something to draw behind and then I can still shoot. I might have to trim that one little piece off, but it looks pretty good. Yep. We are back out here, little uh, place in Colorado at the lake. Gonna pull some cards. I'm gonna actually put one more tree stand up. Um, but right now I'm gonna work my way through, pull a couple of cards and then get into where I'm gonna put this tree stand up. This season, right now it's a split, what they call the rifle split. And uh, the bow hunting will open back up in this area in the 10th. Today is the 6th. So I'm just trying to get some 
intel as to what's in the area, what might have moved in now that the rut's about to kick off. So come, come along with me. There is the tree stand. Here's the trail. We pull this, these cars. Looks like they're using this trail pretty good. Pull this cart. Okay. One down. Okay, I'll come over here. This is the tree stand I hung the other day. There, and I got a camera here. It's kind of a pinch point. You can see the kind of force to come through here or come through in here. I just want to see if we're if we're gathering the intel we want. The lake is right over here, of course, and this kind of pinches in. You can see there's a uh, decoy. Um, I came out here earlier and kind of walked this whole area, trying to find a spot where I could really see some areas um, that pinch down. Uh, and, and I kind of picked a tree out here. So we're going to walk out to this tree and make sure I want to verify that. The reason I picked this was just the fact of the deer trails that I saw and the way it pinched down. So let's go out here and take a look. So this is it. This is the tree because it's kind of straight. And my idea was setting it up here and then I'm going to have to trim a bunch. But I think this will be a good spot. So I'm going to get the truck and bring it in here and get this set up. Okay. Got that hung. And this is, again, the water comes in over there. We've got some cattails over here. But this is kind of a pinch. And there's some, there's some really good trails that come right. Well, my tracks go over, but if you look right here, there's a pretty good trail goes right through here um, and then there's one over there too so I'll, I'll climb up there and give you a show I think I got enough lanes cleared sitting up here I've got I cleared this out of course I got this shooting lane here and then I cleared a little spot here uh, there's some trails over there too if anything this will be a pretty good observation stand you can see quite a ways but this gives us another gives us another um, tree stand back in this south east side which we don't have we didn't have anything so we'll see how that goes all right now we're just going to go pull the rest of the cameras and, and get out of here thanks for watching out back outdoors we encourage you to comment below and as always like Subscribe and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.